Will I be able to get you to say yes to notifications by the end of this tutorial? You see, I'm going to show you how to create notifications in your scene view, and it's going to be quick and simple to do. And in my opinion, it can add a little extra to a tool, as you can see from the notifications from my scene view bookmarks tool found in the asset store, link in the description. Now let's code up a version for demonstration purposes, then I'll show you how I put it into practice in my own tools. I have a static class in my editor folder that contains a menu item all set up and ready to go. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set some text for the notification. Say yes to notifications. And we'll wrap this up in a new GUI content. Next, we get the scene view window. And luckily there's an easy function under the scene view class called last active scene view that we can use for this. Now all we need to do is call the function show notification with that GUI content and set a reasonable and particularly unobnoxious show time of a couple of seconds. Now jumping back into Unity and this beautiful lava environment from my friends at Nature Manufacturer, link in the description, we can hit the menu item and see that hey presto we have a notification, which beautifully fades away after a couple of seconds. Now with notifications, I like to live by the less is more mentality. You see, if you show notifications for every single thing that's going on for your users, they're gonna hate you in a very short space of time. So I suggest using these things sparingly. Let me give you a good example. Here we have my updated asset store package for CView bookmarks, which enables you to store locations in a scene and quickly jump through them using a neat little shortcut like I'm doing here. Now before the notifications, each time you switched, if you were using the shortcut, you would have to identify the location by site alone. Now I could have spat out a console log each time, but that would have just spammed the console and I really dislike that happening. So instead, now we have a quick one second notification to give the user that little extra nudge just so they know where they are in the scene. In the code, it's a similar thing to the menu item. I just added the notification line after the switch. Now, as I'm a responsible tools creator, I still know that these notifications, even though they are few and far between, may not be to everybody's taste. So I added a toggle in the preferences section for the tool so that it can be turned on off and on. And I suggest you do the same in the tools you create. So is it a yes or a no to notifications? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like if you liked and subscribe for more tools content.